Good morning, everyone. It's Saturday morning, the 2nd of December, 2000. I'm going to talk about something today that's probably going to infuriate a lot of people. <laughs> but, you know what? I speak the truth in love. I speak the truth in love. I'm going to talk today about education. We're ready for the 19th chapter of Acts and probably one of the most significant verses in that chapter is the following the 19th verse many of them also which use curious arts brought their books together and burned them before all men and they counted the price of them and found it 50,000 pieces of silver now you know, you're talking to someone who, <laughs> for many years, embraced and endorsed secular education. I went through the University of Kansas and got my undergraduate degree in liberal arts, liberal arts, liberal arts and spent a lot of money for my education <laughs> okay and i must say that most not all but most of the education i received at the hands of the university of liberal arts school university of kansas was curious arts that's what it was it was curious arts There's nothing wrong with knowing how to write, knowing how to cipher, <laughs> knowing how to add and subtract. But what, do, what am I speaking of when I say curious arts? I'm speaking of so-called science. I'm speaking of transpersonal psychology, abnormal psychology sociology cultural cult cultural anthropology social psychology the history of art music appreciation philosophy most of the subjects that I was required to take to get my degree were those of curious arts I must say that's why I will not hang my degree up <laughs> because I'm not proud that I've participated in curious arts and some people aren't happy uh, just to get a liberal arts degree they have to go on and get a master's in curious arts <laughs> they got to go on and on and some people have to get piled higher and deeper in curious arts well here we see they burned all of these books I don't think I kept any of the books that I had to have when I was going to the University of Kansas because it's all garbage. I've recounted, I've rejected all of that garbage. Just like here in this 19th verse where it says that many which use these curious arts brought their books together and burned them before all the men. Notice they found the value, price of them, 50,000 pieces of silver. Do you know how many? how much silver people spend on education on these books and on going to these universities millions of dollars are spent on curious arts and it came to pass that while Apollos was at Corinth Paul having passed through the upper coast came to Ephesus of finding certain disciples and said to them have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed? And they said unto him, We have no, not so much as heard whether there be any Holy Ghost. And he said unto them, 
What then were you baptized? And they said unto John's baptism. Then said Paul, John, very baptized with the baptism of repentance, saying unto the people that they should believe on him which should come after him, that is, on Christ. And when they heard this, they were baptized in the name of Jesus. And when Paul laid his hands upon them, the Holy Ghost came upon them. They spake with tongues and prophesied, and all the men were about twelve. And he went in the synagogue and spake boldly for the space of three months, disputing and persuading the things concerning the kingdom of God. But when divers were hardened and believed not, but spake evil of that way before the multitude, he departed from them and separated the disciples, disputing daily in the school of one Tyrannius. And this continued by the space of two years, so that all they which dwelt in Asia heard the word of the Lord Jesus, both Jews and Greeks, and God wrought special miracles by the hands of Paul, so that his body, that from his body were brought unto the sick, handkerchiefs or aprons and diseases departed from them and the evil spirits went out of them. Then certain of the vagabond Jews, exorcists, took them to call over them which had evil spirits the name of the Lord Jesus saying, We adjure you by Jesus whom Paul preacheth. And there were seven sons of one Sceva Jew and the chief of the priests which did so. And the evil spirit answered, said, Jesus I know and Paul I know, but who are you? And the man in whom the evil spirit was leaped on them and overcame them and pre prevailed against them so that they fled out of the house naked and wounded. And this was known to all the Jews and Greeks also dwelling at Ephesus and fear fell on them. The name of the Lord Jesus was magnified and many that believed came and confessed and showed their deeds. Many of them also which used curious arts brought their books together and burned them before all men and they counted the price of them and found it 50,000 pieces of silver. So mightily grew the word of God and prevailed. Notice that when you refute the curious arts of false education and false science and heliocentrism and false teachings regarding psychology and man and sociology and cultural anthropology and social psychology and philosophies of men when you do that the when you do that the word of god prevails after these things were ended paul purposed in the spirit when he had passed through macedonia and Achaia to go to jerusalem saying after i've been there i must also see rome so he's sent into Macedonia two of them that ministered unto him, Timotheus and Erastus, and him still stayed in Asia for a season. At the same time there arose no small spur about that way for a certain man named Demetrius, a silversmith, which made silver shrines for Diana, brought no small gain unto the craftsmen, whom he called together with the workmen of a like occupation and said, Sirs, ye know that by this craft we have our wealth. He was making, he was making silver shrines to Diana, idolatry. Moreover, you see in here that not alone at Ephesus, but also throughout all Asia, this Paul hath persuaded and turned away much people, saying that be, they be no gods which are made with hands. So that not only this, our craft is in danger to be said at naught, but also that the temple of the great goddess Diana should be despised, and her magnificence should be destroyed, whom all Asia and the world worshipeth. The whole world worships education, folks. And when they had heard these sayings, they were full of wrath and cried out, saying, Great is Diana the Ephesians. What are they crying out today? Great is the education of man. And the whole city was filled with confusion, and having caught Gaius and Aristarchus, men of Macedonia, Paul's companions, and traveled, they rushed with one accord into the theater. And when Paul would have entered into the people, the disciples suffered him not, and certain of the chief of Asia, which were his friends, sent unto him, desiring that he would not adventure himself into the theater. Some therefore cried one thing, and some another, for the assembly was confused, and the whole part knew not whether they were come together. That's what we've got today. That's what this secular humanistic education has brought on our culture, is confusion. 
And they drew Alexander out of the multitude of the Jews, putting him forward, and Alexander beckoned with a hand and would have made his defense unto the people. But when they knew that he was a Jew, all with one voice about the space of two hours, cried, Great is Diana of the Ephesians. Great is secular education of the universities. That's what they're crying out today. And when the town clerk had appeased the people, he said, Ye men of Ephesus, what? Man is there that knoweth not how that the city of the Ephesians is a worshiper of the great goddess Diana and of the image which fell down from Jupiter. <laughs> Seeing that's called so called science. Seeing then that these things cannot be spoken against, ye ought to be quiet and do nothing rashly. For ye are brought hither these men which are neither robbers of churches nor yet blasphemers of your goddess. Wherefore, if Demetrius and the craftsmen which are with him have a matter against any man, the law is open, and there are deputies. Let them implead one another. But if ye inquire anything concerning other matters, it shall be determined in a lawful assembly. For we are in danger to be called into question for this day's uproar, for there being no cause whereby we may give an account of this concourse. And when he had thus spoken, he dismissed the assembly. Well, like I started when I started this video this morning I call it regarding education secular education today is devilish it has nothing to do with God it's against God and his Christ it promotes humanism Marxism communism socialism and it also promotes false science and the philosophies of men May the good Lord be with you today is my prayer. God bless.